we want to play as? We got Thick Viper, who's just a boring spaceship. We got Octopus, that's pretty self-explanatory. We got Twin Bee, who may or may not be a bee. And you got Pentaru, which, unlike the rest of them, is not an English sounding name. I have to assume Pentaru is Japan is Japanese for penguin. Actually, I also might shrink this just a smidge more. Yeah, there we go. Um, hmm. I think... I think I'll play as Pentaru. I thought Pingu was the name of a penguin. Not the Japanese word for penguin. I'm, I'm sure Google has an answer for that, or if there's a, uh, anyone who speaks Japanese, they might have an answer. Yeah, that's why I thought that the name, the show Pingu was, and the main character was just the name of the penguin. I don't think that, I don't think that claymation's Japanese, is it? I want to say it's like European. Not because it's weird, but... Oh, hang on. Let me pause, because I think... This needs to be... Brought down slightly? Huh. It should be all the same, but I guess not. Alright. Grab us some... Oh, that's right, the power-up the power boxes are different for each character. I thought they were the same, but I guess I was wrong in that regard. If you're a penguin, you get candy. I have to assume it's fish-flavored candy. Alright, let's get ourselves a nuke. Right, actually, let's just nuke the screen. It's Swiss. Wait, there's a follow-up show to Pingu? How do you... How do you make a follow-up show to a... Claymation? That's... Bizarre. But sure. Oh, I suppose if anyone's gonna... Pingu in the city. That just sounds like, um, a penguin version of Babe with Pig in the City. And now I launch... I have no idea what I'm even shooting. Oh, uh, how do I s stop this? Alright, more options. They could be exploding fish. I'm not sure it matters too much, considering the absurdity of this game in general. I got an extra life for getting 20,000 points. I don't know why the high score is 57300. That seems like a pretty arbitrary number. Unfortunately, this sub this sub weapon, I guess, or main weapon, doesn't make it easy to shoot bells and get an item you want from the bell. I get another speed up. I'm a little slow. All right, next stop, Vegas, Space Vegas. I wasted that. Oh well. That's what happens in Space Vegas. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Alright. So Penguin only get 
uh, Pintaru only gets three options. Um, whereas, oh, same with Twin D. Whereas uh, Vic Viper and Octopus get four options. I also don't know why they're called options. It's not the stock exchange or anything like that. Alright. Here we are in Space Vegas. Watch out for the clown shooting pretzels. And the, uh... Treasure chests that spew out bees. Oh, Bubble. Which arguably is the best shield out of the four characters? Because it completely surrounds you. Unlike, um, so Vic Vipers is just a thing in front of him. It's not overly good. Unless you only expect to be attacked from the front. Um... I think that's better than Octopuses, which is a net in front of him? Or something? It's a bit weird. But it's not that great. And then Twin Bees... is kind of like... Pingu's? And I'm now... Oh, there goes my shield because I have to be on the ground. I do have to be down here because I have to dodge Space Stripper by going under its legs. To be honest, I might actually be going a bit too fast. Oh no, I'm not. I'm alright. She's the only boss in the game you can't actually shoot to death. And I ran into a feat. Good job. Uh, inevitably that happens when you're in Space Vegas. You run into people's feet. So I lose all my power-ups. Oh, I already had a speed up. Oh, because I had a... I had a thing when I died, which is why I got to speed up straight away, because it does remember that. You just lose everything. So yeah, shooting her doesn't do anything. You just have to go under her legs. I can't believe I ran into her legs, so... I thought she was gonna keep walking, which is why I did that. And we have to go under one more time. She gets to the end of the stage and then presumably that's the end of the show. She goes backstage and, I don't know, gets a beverage. Anyway, this level has two bosses. Um... Well, there's another checkpoint here. And it's Captain America! It could be Eddie Eagle. This is his other job. He masquerades as a boss in Parodius. Oh, I won't get that. Whatever. Alright, we're in Desert Land. Now this is kind of the reason why I don't normally play as the penguin. Because the penguin's not really suited to desert land. Oh, I went invisible briefly. Because his, uh... His main weapon's not really suited to, uh...
Um, well, you'll see why it's what it's not suited to. I didn't get some of those, but it's okay. Alright, let's just stay down here. Just try not to go too fast. Let's not run into those plates. Even though I seem to actually be making an alright work. Um, progress through these. Alright. Well, normally I don't like it because you can't, you can't really shoot well through these. I'm still hitting that bell. And I'll grow big. M&M's Minis, before m and Minis came out, in whatever year they did come out. Alright, back off before I die, because I'm too big. Oh, I have to move very quickly through this section. Is this another- oh, this is a bullhorn. Oh yeah, you can't pick up, um... You can't get the bubble while you have a, a bell power-up. And I hit the... Interrobang, which means I lost everything. Which means I'm not going to be able to defeat this boss, but you don't need to. Gotta juke the teeth. Oh, and I have to. Utter chaos. Well, at least we got. actually drop I know these idiot things come back oh never mind they just fly at you I could have sworn they go up and down but maybe I didn't I have to kill everything on the right hand side before those fly across all right I think this stage is actually just a space stage. Oh no, this must be... Oh, we're in Japan. I've... All right. I think I've already forgotten what stages come up. I guess it wasn't that long ago that I um, played this. Watch out for sumos. Watch out for bees. Uh, get another one up at uh, 120,000 points. Uh, remember that I do have a nuke. I'm sorry, what? I'm usually not this terrible. 
So I guess I'm just gonna do poorly at everything. the houses up top. And die again. I need to re think. Think. Remember how this level works. This level is bullshit. Alright, we start here, which means we're up to the We're at the moving tree. Speed up, missile. Alright, next is the guys that shoot uh, eggplants. And just get bodied again. Why not? This is why I hate the penguin. Penguin is very weak. Even though they all have the same sort of hitbox and whatnot, penguin just seems very unlucky. Didn't die there, but sure. Alright, this boss coming up is a sumo wrestler. You just have to survive until he drops the Konami sign on himself. I think you do have to shoot him though, to get him to come across. Oh yeah, he drops bullshit on you too. I knew that. But I still went, ran into it because I'm an idiot f for brains. And we're just hemorrhaging lives, because why not? This isn't going to do me anything, though. Right on fucking top of me again! You usually don't have that happen. Usually they just fall off to the side. Nope. Straight on fucking top. Bam. Like that. Because why not? Oh good. More useless crap. I think there is an actual cycle to what you get out of um, the enemies. Alright, we survived his first stomp. Wow. Fuck. Me. Sideways. Did I- did I accidentally put the difficulty up? I'm pretty sure I didn't. I put it on one, because if I put it higher, I'd have enemies shooting at me. But obviously today is not my day. Today is not my day. Me! Again with the fucking bees! <laughs> Take my speed up. Alright, how about this? We stay really low. Alright, he normally doesn't stomp straight away, but I guess I must have hit him enough times off screen. What the hell was that? I've never seen that move before.
Oh, you just shoot him and then the Katanami sign falls. I have no idea where that came from. I have never seen that move before. In my life. Alright, now we're in space. Here. He can shoot off his glasses and break his, like, teeth. Alright, then we go back to the front and then we go underneath him. He's also Captain Kabad. I don't know why he's called Captain Kabad. And he's as long as a Kabad, but... Really? Are you fucking serious? Whatever, man. Whatever. Do that now. Let's reverse. Probably get destroyed again, because why not? I stopped shooting. Nice try, trying to like trick me into thinking that you were disabled, but sure. Alright, this was the bit I needed to destroy. There's one bit where it goes down like this, and you gotta be in this gap. I think I can destroy this guy from back here. So I'll just fly over here. And he speeds off into the sunset. Or... Is there sunsets in space? Way to miss a power-up. A power Oh, this boss is going to be a nightmare with what I've got. Good thing there's no time limit. You have to shoot her in the eye. She also just spits, spews out those things. does it. Don't get hit by him. Her eye colour changes as you hit her. And I got fucking boxed in! I got boxed in! Bloody hell. I am not too sure what Cho and Nikki is, but I assume it's either as insane as this game. Okay, 
get you to come out that way. Oh. Okay, that's uh that sounds interesting. Get you to do that, do that. Almost get hit. Oh, we took care of her. And that may or may not be there and crying on the moon. I don't know. Uh, where are my nests? I think this is pinball land. Yeah, this is pinball land. Dead again! Nice, nice. I've obviously gotten worse at this game compared to three months ago, literally. Alright, let's go Twin B. Let's go with a less stupid character. I think this puts me back at the start of Pinball Wizard. Oh, it puts me at the checkpoint even. And straight into that! Christ! No, usually this bad video games, but I've obviously got worse. Ran into the thing again! Because this game got more bullsh- Someone's gone back in time and solved up my video game. And yes, I'm of the opinion that people are going back in time for the explicit purpose of solving up video games. Yes, this does happen a lot in this stage. Just bear with the flashing a little bit. Oh, that just vanished. I didn't even get a chance to pick it up. The boss is a little easy. that guy dead. Alright. Uh, where am I up to now? I think it's... Loveland? Yeah, here we are. I mean, you could call it Cloud World as well, I guess. But I think Loveland might be the better name for it. Well, 
Watch out for hussies in bubbles. And pigs. There's also pigs in the bubbles. So I might put that there. Oh, I think I was too early. There is an instance where they come out from behind. Well, that's not that part yet. Actually, it might be this part where they come from behind. Yeah, they come from behind here. Alright. We should be up to the boss now. Which is really just a girl trying to get some beauty sleep. Do you inexplicably get four of those instead of two? Normally you only get two things before the boss. Oh, she'll also summon pigs. She's dead, but don't go anywhere where she's been, because you'll still die. And then you'll be angry. So don't do that. Just don't run into her. Alright, what's next? Is it the boneyard? No, it's Waterworld. This, uh, usable weapon is pretty good for an upcoming part, so I'll hold on to it. Grab some points. Alright, this is where I want it. Oh, I can't... I can't use another one until the other one's off screen. Not that I even really need it, it's mowed down everyone. And then crash into a fucking jellyfish! Good job! Good job! Way to run into a jellyfish. And it puts, it puts me all the way back here too! Yeah, Rocket Punch is like the second thing you get. Alright, just get out of there. Jesus. That was way closer than I wanted.
Alright. We should be alright now. Alright, this boss, Pufferfish. Um, where is he? Alright, he comes in from this side. Uh, I'm sorry. How about you back off? Alright, as long as you stay sort of inside the spines he shoots out in that pattern, you'll be alright. It takes a while though, because he does get pretty huge. As does his spikes, but again, you're not, you're not in any real danger. Keep shooting, and boom, he's dead. Exactly, he's huge. I think this is the boneyard. Are we going to get to the actual stage? Thank you. Yeah, we're at Boneyard. In fact, we should be close to the end. I think after this it's Bathhouse and then Steamworks and then that's one loop. Option. Watch out for the skeleton who would have tossed his head if I let him. Also, that gravestone says Pengi rest in peace. Or at least I think it said that. I mean, it either said that or penis rest in peace. One of the two. Now it says Penji, rest in peace. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so this stage has two bosses as well. Um, we're not up to either of them yet, but. Oh crap, I hit the Intero bang again. Look, here's Pania. Who's Pania? Who's Penji? Who are any of these people? Okay, no point shooting you. Alright, I need to take care of these skelly boys. Alright, so here's the first boss. And there goes me. Straight into an umbrella. Or a... Parasol. Uh, I didn't want a second rocket punch. Alright, that skeleton won't do anything to me. So that's okay, I can just destroy these umbrellas. Kill the skeleton. And then head off to fight the other boss. And have the music still play for that boss. For some reason. 
And you don't get any power ups either. Alright, so it's invincible it's invincible while it's in cloud form. And then you gotta shoot her in a thing while dodging the fire. I want to say it's possible to one-cycle this, if you're fully powered up. She does take quite a few hits. Or I can just one-cycle her anyway, whatever. Just whatever, I'll just one-cycle her with... Whatever passes for power-ups for my character. Yeah, here we are, bath house. Where all the penguins and octopus and pigs bathe. It doesn't explain why anyone's on fire though. Alright, we get big, we'll murder some pigs. Watch out for the fish in the bath and the pigs above. We also beat our other high score, which wasn't too difficult, all things considered. Alright, so coming up is a maze. Uh, pigs are easy to kill, skeletons are hard to kill. There's always an easy path, uh, which I think is down, middle, up, middle? I think that's the path, or is it down, middle, I think it's... It's down, middle, down, up. That's what it is. If you wanted to get through that with ease. Alright. Now we've got to disturb this octopus's bath time. It's not a particularly big threat, just watch out for the bubbles. That shouldn't even be an issue. Especially since all the bubbles can be destroyed. Including the ones he shoots out of his, uh... Mouth? I guess that's what that would be, a mouth? That's him. Alright, we're up to the last stage. Which is the Steamworks.
Sure then. Penguins are and octopus are working hard in the Steamworks. There's more things that just spawn out of nowhere and shoot at you. Except they're taps this time. Careful here. I think I do actually want to switch to the tail gun in an upcoming section. And it's not this section. In fact, I really would have liked to have kept this for a bit longer. It's this section. And not because of the bees. I need to get up here. Yeah, you want you can slip back there. I'm sorry. How did you get past all my bullets? Cause I don't think you got past my bullets. I think you just decided to commit bullshit. Uh, also for some reason if you die here, um the Shower doesn't spawn. Uh, I need to get through this. You don't have to destroy those guys, but um, you do have to get through that door to fight the final boss. And then you gotta shoot his... I don't know what he says still, I think he says he's a troll. But anyway, you shoot his legs off the thing, and he dies. And that's one loop of the game. Actually no, it goes to the credits first, my, my apologies. And you blow up the planet which was an octopus the entire time. That also only took me 50 minutes. Fucking hell. Well, I'll let the credits play out. You know what, he does kind of look like a bee from the front. I've never known bees to be that colour or sort of that shape, but the front of it does look like a bee, I guess. I don't know what any of these rooms are. Maybe they're rooms that these guys rented out while they built this game? I honestly don't know. They also apparently love Gradius 1.